New details tonight about a heartbreaking story out of Narragansett. That's where a man was pulled from the water along East Shore Road. His family tells NBC 10 that he died while quahogging. The night team's Molly Levine is live from Narragansett with what we know. Molly? Yeah, Patrice, fire officials say this man was in his 70s, and I actually had the opportunity to talk with the family briefly today, and they say their loved one died doing exactly what he loved doing. Co East Shore Road. 75-year-old man was in the water, wife called 911, she can no longer see him. Another unforgiving day in Rhode Island waters. Found a elderly male in the water. Uh, they retrieved him out of the water. We started life-saving efforts. Fire officials say they responded to the pond near a residence on East Shore Road near the Block Island Ferry Dock just before 1.30 in the afternoon Friday. NBC10 spoke with the family of the victim briefly, who says the man died doing exactly what he loved, co-hogging. But what exactly caused his death has not been released. All I know is that he was out swimming. Apparently his wife checked on him, uh, was checking on him, saw him, and 10 minutes later apparently did not. Emergency crews arriving three minutes after the call, immediately administering CPR. Yeah. Well, CPR on fire 1329. Uh, we did literally everything we could. Uh, we completed life-saving up all the way to the hospital. Fire officials say where the man was standing happened to be shallow waters, but warns of water safety regardless. You should go swimming by yourself. You should always have somebody with you uh, through the body system. You know, whether it's uh, whether it's a swimming pool or open ocean, you should always have have somebody with you to keep an eye on each other. Rhode Islanders hearing the news, shocked, knowing it could have been anyone out there. When I when you told me what happened, I felt badly because, you know, I can remember my dad doing that and finding cool hogs and, you know, so I just feel bad that that happened today. And authorities have not yet released the name of the victim. Reporting live from Narragansett tonight, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News 19.